this is he knows everything bringing you that heat and far we keeping a foot on the what on the geeks we keeping a foot on the what on the geeks let's talk about it man a lot of people are asking me questions as it relates to and as it pertains to them wanting to know how to close i said this is interesting he knows everything just did two videos so far on female nature and two videos where he's explaining the full dichotomy the full variation the full aspect on how these things work with basically the woman's anatomy and guys are asking questions i'm getting dms i'm getting all kinds of stuff about it i'm glad that this is starting to pick up so let, let, let's let's go from there because this year is all about teaching you guys how to be the best and the most complete versions of yourselves let me say it again this year is all about teaching you guys how to be the best and the most complete versions of yourselves. First and foremost, you got to be Mariano Rivera. If you don't know anything about baseball, I'm going to explain who Mariano Rivera is. Mariano Rivera was a hellified closer for the New York Yankees. If anybody knows anything about he knows everything, when it comes to baseball teams, New York Yankees was he knows everything's baseball team. You had the Derek Jeters of the worlds, the Jorge Posadas. I mean, you had them all, man. Like, that team was just stacked. But Mariano Rivera, when he came to pitching, he was the closer. They always used him in closing situations. In his prime, this motherfucker closed like nobody's business. That's why you would always hear in rap references. They would always say, you got to close like Mariano Rivera. <laughs> that dude was a hell of a closer. Well, this applies to dating. Because Mariano Rivera was clutch, basically when it came down to pressure, him and pressure are best friends. The reason why Mariano Rivera is used in this simile of when you're talking about women, remember what we talked about. Your interactions with them face to face. And then pre that, how you prep, how you make sure that you have all your affairs in order before you interact with them. Well, this is the part that is the next step. Now, once you've interacted with the woman and you close, because we ended on the closing element, how do you close? There's not one, not two, not three, but four ways to close. Let me say it again. Not one, not two, not three, but four ways to close. Here's the first way to close. It's the simplest close. Make sure you get her phone number. Why do you want to get her phone number instead of her getting your number? You are the alpha male. You have to understand everything with being an alpha male means that dominance has to reign in of itself. Dominance has to be the forefront. So in dominant fashion, in buzzling testosterone fashion, let me say it again, in buzzling testosterone fashion, you got to be able to close getting her number puts you in the driver's seat because you can dictate when you want to call her when she has your number you're at her fucking mercy and she could choose to call you and she could choose to not call you depending on how she values you in your interaction with her on the toting pole this is very important so make sure you get her number this is usually the first level of closing and it's usually the safest level of closing. And this is how you can simply get her number. You can say something as simple as, you know, I spent, you know, a great time with you. I mean, we had a great time and, you know, we our, con our conversation or what we were talking about was very interesting, it was intriguing. Let's carry this on further. Can I get your number? Something simple like that. Or however the fuck you say it. In whatever swag that you have. I'm just giving you a generalized variation a generalized form and facet of it but everyone has their way of saying it you don't need to be all you know extra about it you just simply ask for it and just tell her you had a great time and you want to carry the conversation on this lets her know that you're interested it lets her know that she is basically someone that you want to continuously spend your two most valuable resources time and energy with and you got to say it with conviction that's the key and you have to say it with alpha male seduction. Remember, calming voice. Everything that you do has to put her in a safety net. 
It has to put her in a safe space, in a safe zone. Once you've done this, you've accomplished the first level of closing. Now there's th three other levels that are considered higher levels than actually getting someone's phone number. The other one, taking her out on a date. This is the second tier of closing. This could happen on the first interaction, depending on how high of an interest level that you have with her. For guys that have advanced level game, like he knows everything, we can usually get the date from the first interaction. Some guys, it may take two or three. You just gotta know the level that you're at. You have to be realistic with yourself and be honest with yourself. And if the first safety net of getting the number is what is going to work for you, you do that. But let me tell you something. There's no guarantees when you get the number. Because an emergency can happen. She could have something happen to her friend. Or she could just simply want to flake on you because she want to shit test you. Because women like to do this. Even with men that they're very fucking interested in, they like to do this. You're basically what I would say manipulating time. You're basically taking time and you're exponentially accelerating the pace of it when it comes to women because your ultimate goal is to bed them, right? Your ultimate goal is to sleep with them. Your ultimate goal is to basically put them in a position where you can start having these sexual escapades with them. Well, to do this, you gotta manipulate time. And the way to manipulate time is you always got to make sure everything is done to where confrontation is imminent. Why is confrontation important? Why is that one-on-one, -on -one, up close and personal, exclusivity is important? Because it puts the woman in a vulnerable state. A woman is in her most vulnerable state when she's in front of you. Because you can read her body language and at the same time, and that's if you have the skill set to read body language. You can't just be sitting there and be all, uh, you know, and be all Google and fucking Gaga over the woman that you're looking at, and then you're not paying attention to everything that's going on. You gotta pay attention to the signs, standards over feelings. I'll talk about that in the other video today. But the bottom line is, everything that you do has to always lead to confrontation. It always has to lead to that one-on-one -on -one connection, that in-person. In-person is key. Because in-person puts her in a vulnerable state and in-person puts you in a position of control. Remember, being an alpha male is all about dominance. And the most dominant state is when you have that woman with just you and her. Now she can be her fully version, her fully feminine state variation of who she is. And that's if you are exuding masculine energy. If you're exuding masculine frame and you're exuding masculinity. This is the only way this is going to work. Now, we can't sit here and lie to you. We have to tell you the truth. As long as you maintain masculine frame, you maintain masculine structure, and you maintain masculinity, she will always be in her fucking feminine state. Now, when you take her out on a date, the closing part is very important in this element because you got to stand out from the pack. Everybody's always doing a dinner and a fucking movie. Now, I've said that in another video, whatever you do, whether if it's a dinner or a movie, you got to make it a movie, right? That still holds true. But a dinner and movie should be something after you've already built sexual chemistry with her. And after you've built the connection, these are things that you do on a random. Everyone can always go to a dinner and a fucking movie. When you interacted with her the first time, did you pay attention to what she was talking about? This is th These are things that are very important. This is why active listening is key like for instance the girl that I'm, I added to my rotation the one that I talked about yesterday she said one of her interests is she likes to go and to an art show or art gallery um, mental jewels right there <laughs> you see you, automatically because at such an advanced state that he knows everything is okay so I'm going to take her ass to an art show. I'm going to take her ass to an art gallery. It's that fucking simple. Now what you've done is not only have you shown her that you listened in that moment, which is going to get you extra fucking brownie points when it comes to betting her, 
at the same time, you've taken the time out to push this shit up a few notches. Because what happens is when you give the woman this level of experience, a movie experience, you basically put yourself in a very relaxed state. And guess what? If you're in a relaxed state, the woman's going to be in a relaxed state. Remember, you are the man. You are the head. She is the tail. So as the leader, lead. And if you're leading to where you're comfortable, she's going to follow and be comfortable with you. Remember, women love safety nets. They love to be safe. This is the ultimate way of putting her in a safe space. But it's also getting all of her feelings oozed because in her mind, the little things count. And she's going to be thinking, damn, this motherfucker actually listened. He's a keeper. Now she's going to start looking at you in a more long-term aspect, a long-term perspective. She's not going to just look at you as just someone she's on a fucking date with. Now she's going to look at you as, you know what? He has the potential to be someone that I could see myself being with. Like she's going to already start envisioning marriage and shit like that. Of course, that's not what we're envisioning over here. But that's what you getting her to fucking envision. You see where I'm going with this? Now here's the third tier. The third tier of closing is basically sleeping with them. This is third base. This is the gusto. People are wondering, well, how is this not fourth base? I'll tell you what fourth base is. Because fourth base is more important. Fourth base is basically the continuance of everything. It's the building of everything. When you sleep with a woman, sleeping with a woman can be a one-time occurrence. Or it could be multiple occurrences. It just depends on how you perform. Now, you got to understand, this is an area where you have to really self-improve. You have to maximize your self-improvement in this area. You got to basically teach yourself. Basically learn some shit. Go do some experiences with different women so that you could understand how to be versatile and how to have so many different tools in the tool yards and the tool sheds when it comes to bedding a woman because if you fuck this shit up everything else goes to the wayside let me say it again if you fuck this shit up everything else goes to the wayside this is the experience beyond the experience she has to know and feel after you have sexualized her you have fucked her after you guys have become intimate that guess what she knows without fail without question she wants to be with your ass because if you fail in this area you, it doesn't matter if you maximize everything else she's not she's not going to deal with you because how can she deal with somebody that can't fuck how can she deal with somebody that cannot bed her well how can she deal with somebody that can't sexualize her that means there's no sexual chemistry remember like drake said no new friends no new friends no new friends this is not about friends this is about a man and a woman's connection. This is about a sexual connection. This is about you two basically having a sexual relationship. This is the forefront of everything. This is basically the backbone of everything. So you got to make sure you perform. And you got to make sure you go 120%. He knows everything goes 120%. They'll have women orgasm in three fucking times before he orgasm once. I'm telling you, they don't. They, they they call he knows everything magic stick Mike for a fucking reason. <laughs> because the motherfucker's not only magic stick miking you, but at the same time, he's basically magic stick miking you. That's that's the way we roll over here. So you gotta make sure you maximize that. That's the third level of closing. You better be fucking good at it. And here's the fourth level of closing. Long-term relationship. See, every man has their variation on what closing is. Some men, they want to call them purple pill. Remember, everybody want to give it labels. There are alpha males. They don't have time to be sitting here and playing this Russian roulette of having rotations. They don't got time for all of that. Their time is valuable. They just want a high-quality woman that they are willing to give their time and energy to because these things still fucking exist. If you vet women properly and you vet them correctly, he knows everything doesn't believe in all women are this and all women. That's 
toxic masculinity to think like that. Let me say it again. It's toxic masculinity and it's basically masculine males that are not even masculine. They're protruding feminine fucking energy. There's no such thing as everybody's fucking bad. If that was the case, there's no hope for any motherfucker. There are good motherfuckers out there. There are good fucking women out there. Good quality women. And you need to fashion your brain to this. So long-term relationship to the women that are worthy of this shit. They have to be fucking worthy. You have to have vet them. And when I say vet them, you have to listen to the other two videos that I talked about. How you can determine. And I will continue to talk about these things. Because I will have another video where I talk about what vetting looks like to determine a woman for a long-term relationship. This is another element of closing. Obviously, you're not gonna rationalize your brain after one occurrence. This is gonna be multiple encounters, multiple times of her showing high interest into you, multiple times of her basically submitting to you. He knows everything rolls in, th in acronyms here. The man provides the PBCs, the woman provides the LSG. And we're not talking about Laverne. Um, we're not talking about Levert, Sweat, and Gill. We're not talking about LSG, the group. So get your head out the gutter. These are terms that you're going to understand. I want you guys to write these terms down. Because you guys are going to be like, man, he's giving us the game, the million-dollar game. For men, you have to do PPCs. And this is to women that deserve your fucking time and energy. Remember, it's a privilege to be around you. You are the alpha male. PPC means provision. This is the ability for you to provide. You're alpha male, you should be able to provide to your woman. Protection. Alpha males, because everything they do is dominant, they provide protection to their women. And C, care. This is PPC, provision, protection, and care. This is what alpha males, especially true alpha extraordinaires, governed by true alpha economics, should be able to provide on a woman like on a drop of the dime. But it has to be a woman that's worth your time and fucking energy for you to be able to provide this to her. And she has to provide LSG. Remember, get your head out the fucking gutter. We're not talking about Levert, Sweat, and Gill. It's not the R&B group. The woman has to provide loyalty. That's what L is. S is submission. And G is fucking gratitude. Because she has to be loyal to the provisions that you are giving her. She has to be submissive to the protection that you are providing her. And she has to show gratitude to the care that you are giving her. Let me say it again. It's what I said was so deep in profile. Yeah. Let me let that marinate in the corpus callosum and in the cerebellum. So hear me. Hear me. Motherfucking where? She has to be loyal to the protection that you are providing her. She has to be able to be submissive to the protection that you are giving to her. And she has to show gratitude to the care that you will continuously provide for her. These things go in conjunction and they go hand in hand with the alpha male that's going to give this to a high quality woman. This is what we call them, high quality women. This is what the fuck you want. Basically a woman that don't have no high fucking body count and a woman that basically respects her body, she respects herself, she respects you, she values you, and she puts you fucking first, and she understands that her world is centered around your fucking orbit. That's just the way this shit rolls. Now you guys understand the acronyms. If you missed it, go back to the video and, and, and re-assimilate and re-basically ingratiate yourself with these terminologies. Once this is established, and the woman has showcased herself consistently. For you to even consider LTR, you got to put her ass on basically a six month of provisions. That's what I would say. Six months of you testing her ass. This is when you can consider LTR. This is my assessment on it. Because six months gives you a good idea. It's like a good window to the soul to let you know what the fuck you're going to be getting yourself into and what you're going to be dealing with. And that's if the motherfucker lasts six fucking months. If she don't last six fucking months, LTR is out of the question. So these are the four levels of closing. This is how you fucking close. This is how you Mariano Rivera close. Now, every man has their variation on what closing looks like to them. 
they want to be in a long-term relationship then follow the blueprint of what long-term relationship was outlined for you in this fucking video if they want to just bed women follow the fucking blueprint of what was outlined in this fucking video of bedding fucking women if they want to just basically get the date to lead to bedding the fucking woman then outline the blueprints that was provided to you in this fucking video and if they just want the first tier because you know they're still getting their feet wet they're trying to understand who they are still as men as alpha males and stuff like that so that they can gradually and eventually get to the betting part because when you get the number if you don't bet then it's like you didn't do shit you basically just trading fucking numbers follow the blueprint of this fucking video this is what closing is all about and as an alpha male that is all about dominance and all about basically wanting to ensure that everything happens in your favor you gotta close this is what closing looks like if you don't fucking close you might as well just kiss everything fucking goodbye that's the cool part of it. that's the unadulterated that's the country to tell the fashion I keeps the foot on the whoop the geeks I keeps the foot on the whoop the geeks listen this video helped you out all you got to do in the comment section is just put salute. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment, like, share. Give your Sunday's best, whatever you can. Cash app. You know, um, basically, if you want to go ahead and just use YouTube's variation of donation, then go ahead and give your Sunday's best because these gems and jewels that you're getting, the game, the million dollar game, when a man works, he shall eat. And a man is definitely working in this video, so he definitely deserves the worth of eating off of the fact that he's giving you guys million dollar gaming jewels. This is He Knows Everything. Check it out.